All right, so in this one, we are going to be changing these to being HTML links. So using anchor tags to actually just click on these buttons and allow you to share them on their respective services. So what I recommend is you look at Coding for Entrepreneurs guides on GitHub and look for the social share links guide. Um, this one definitely will be updated in the future, but I put some together real quick so we can kind of use it as our own reference on how uh, we might want to change some stuff. So um, the first thing I want to mention and point out is this URL text encoder. So I'm going to open it up in a new tab. And basically what this will do is allow our text to work on any type of social sharing site. So um, let's say, for instance, I want to say, hello, this is some text. This is how we would normally write it. But when I hit click on encode, it changes it and changes the spaces into percent 20. And then if we had some, you know, like, hi, this is a tag and I click encode to uh, it actually encoded it twice uh, because it will continue to encode it because it's not necessarily that smart. But if we say, hello, this is a tag that I want to share at some point and click encode, this is what we would copy. So you'd want to do it the one part. So if you want to add to it, you would just hit decode and then add some more text to it and maybe more tags. And then you hit encode again and this is what, this is a string that we'll be using. So looking at this guide, um, we see that if we look down, Facebook's fairly straightforward. You just put a link um, to wherever you're going. So we'll do that in just a second. And then, but if you look at Twitter, we see like status here and equals to all of this code here. And that is H, uh, URL encoded text right there. So that's what we will eventually change it to. And you'll see that that's what it says here basically too and all that. So this kind of just lays it out. And then if we scroll down, uh, LinkedIn has a very similar thing as well. But something I do want to notice or at least show you is that there are different attributes within it. So it says question mark percent status. Um, so for Twitter, all you have is one attribute and that's status. But on LinkedIn, we have multiple attributes. We see mini and then after this ampersand or the and sign, you see URL and then you see title and then you see summary and so on and so forth. So if you look down here, it says URL, title, summary. And basically at the end of the day, we wanna add all those things together and that's gonna be the link that we actually share with a standard HTML tag. So instead of talking about it anymore, let's actually get it started. First off is the Facebook one. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna put it into our share page and I'm gonna scroll down to our Facebook button, which was this right here. And I'm just gonna add this this tag right above it and then around it. So the A anchor tag has to be there. So if I save it and refresh into our page, we will see that it's now an anchor tag and it has some text coming up down in the corner there showing that, hey, it's ready to be a link and it also turns into a little hand pointer, uh, the mouse does. So we see that and we can actually test it out, click on it and this is what will come up. So it'll actually be a link that we can share on our page and then, or anyone can share it and then it's a link to whatever you linked in there. So if we go back and we look at this, uh, we see that this is the link that we shared. That's the link right there. However, we, want, we might wanna use our reference URL link or actually that's what we wanna use is our reference URL link. So I'm gonna copy that and replace that link here to that. Cool, so I save that, a refresh in here. If I click on it now, uh, it's it does send the link. If we see here, it does send the correct link, but uh, we don't necessarily want to actually share that one right now. So we'll just leave it as that and cancel it out. And you also might want to change the target to being a blank page. So underscore blank. Uh, if I click on that, it now opens a new tab. So then ours doesn't go away. Uh, after they share it and stuff. So there's a good idea. Now we will jump to Google Plus because Google Plus is also very similar to Facebook. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and go ahead and copy the Google Plus one. Uh, 
this one doesn't actually have the closing anchor tag, but we will do it ourselves. So we open the tag and then close it. All right, go back in, go back into our project, do a quick little refresh, click on it. And again, it is opening up and now it's showing the link. Uh, we can scroll through here on the pictures that we want to actually come through. There's all kinds of pictures and there's like our default coding for entrepreneurs one. Uh, so that's how you'd be able to share it. And again, you want to change the target uh, to being a new a blank tab or a blank page, depending on how their browser is set up. Um, all right, so then we add that target to the end of that anchor tag. Cool, so now we have our LinkedIn and Facebook working. So let's actually get Twitter working. All right, so looking at Twitter, if I scroll up a little bit, we see the anchor tag has, well, it has that, that uh, URL encoded text. It has something like this. So I'm actually gonna copy this text right here. I'm gonna go into my um, share page and I'm just gonna paste this text in and leave it as is for now. Go back into the guide and I'm gonna copy from here back, so status equals back. And then back into our guide, we're gonna paste that right in front of there and then have a closing quote, so right at the end there. And then we can put this, um, close the A tag and then, or close the actual tag itself and then close the A tag just like that. Great, and then let's refresh in here and test it. And again, we see that this link is coming through. That's great, so this is a tag. Um, it, it will actually render as a Twitter tag in here, um, which is cool, so then we can actually see this actually working. And again, just like our other ones, we will want to add the target of underscore blank. And you don't actually have to add the target if you really don't want to, that's okay. Um, so don't worry too much about that. Um, I'll leave the text itself uh, however you want it to be. So you could even, so let's decode this, you could even say tweet at you know, your, tw your Twitter handle um, and this will be added. So then also HTTP, so some link. So um, we are gonna use our share link at, once we actually set it in, I'm gonna put Coding for Entrepreneurs for now. And remember we have only a 140 characters that we can use. So I'm gonna just remove it, make it a little bit smaller. And then I'll hit encode, copy this off, go in here, change this link here to whatever I want it to be, save that, refresh in here, uh, click on the Twitter one. Oops, I uh, made a mistake and actually replaced all of it when I should be put replacing hello from down, so status equals. And then there we go, so now I save that. I try that one more time, click on it, it opens up a new tag and it says, hello, there's a tag, tweet at Justin Mitchell and then uh, our URL there. All right, so now we would actually wanna change our URL. So I'm gonna actually get rid of this right here. And you can um, actually put the hard-coded URL here. Twitter and Facebook are a little bit smart and they would actually figure out what that reference URL would be. So let's try that one more time. I click on it. It does show the URL coming through just fine. Okay, so there's Twitter. And now we need to do LinkedIn and Reddit. So LinkedIn is a little bit more complicated. Um, so LinkedIn, if we scroll down, we see a very long string. And like I said before, is there's title, summary, and source. So the base URL um, is this right here. So this is how we're actually gonna share it. So if we see here, that's the first part of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna copy this and share article question mark all the way down. So ahref equals to Oh, whoops, looks like I copied that part, so. Okay, now we need those attributes. So actually, if I scroll down, I could just copy this whole link right here and paste this in. And these will, uh, these have these attributes that I actually want to have. So URL, um, so the URL we're actually gonna be referencing or we want them to go to basically is the URL we will use. So again, that's our ref URL, so ref underscore URL. Um, so this works fine. Mini is it either gonna be true or false. 
So I'm going to set it to false so we can see what that does, and then we'll set it back to true. And then title, again, going back into the URL encoder and decoder, you can do your title here. So hello, this is a title. And you hit encode. So we copy that. And we'll put our title here. And then summary, it's the same thing, so I'm just going to leave it as that. Summary, you can just write more. Uh, and then last but not least, our source. So if you were referencing a different source, let's say, for instance, um, it was an article that you were referencing on your own URL, that's where you'd put the source. But I'm going to put our reference ID as the source. So there's LinkedIn. And let's close off the tag and then close off the anchor tag. And again, I'll do target equals to underscore blank. Save that. Let's go back in here, refresh. See LinkedIn, I click on it, and it's now gonna allow me to show an article. So this is a title, and then this is the description, and then we can even, or excuse me, this is the summary, uh, right? So if I click on it, it shows the summary and the title, and I can make edits and all that. It gives the link, and then we can post it actually on our LinkedIn there. Okay, so we can send it to individuals. You can do a lot of different things with it. I'm gonna close that out, and now I'm gonna change many to being true and see what that does. So if I refresh and click on LinkedIn, uh, it doesn't actually do anything different. So that, that attribute doesn't really matter, it, lo it, it appears. Um, but I'm gonna leave it as a default as true. Um, okay, so the last one will be Reddit. And if we look in our guides, we scroll down. Uh, it's very similar again. So we have the two attributes this time. So it's Reddit, URL, and title. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this whole thing right here. Or sorry, actually copy this link down on the bottom and then go into a href equals to that and then let's close it off and let's add the target blank and again the URL and whatever title that you want to put an encoded title uh, I'm going to use the title that we used for LinkedIn so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this Paste that in. All right, so the important part here is the like the different attributes and the ampersands that associate them. So if you don't have that ampersand and then the attribute, uh, you might run into some issues with the actual sharing. Okay, so now if I refresh, I see I can click on link or on Reddit, and it's gonna you have to actually register or log in to make this work. So once you log in, um, I believe that this will start to actually show up, um, but a lot of Reddit, the avid Reddit users, ones that would actually click on this, um, likely would already be logged in. So when they click on it, it's just going to go straight into their account. Um, and then, actually, it's true for any of these. You would have to be logged in to actually share whatever the link is. But that's done. Now, we have our social sharing. Um, it's very easy to do, as you see. And luckily, we have this reference guide, again, will be updated um, when uh, when needed. So if you have any suggestions or something like that uh, to improve this guide, please uh, feel free to send it to us. All right, so um, in the next one or the next few, all we really need to do now is finish off the styling um, for some stuff, add some text. So if we go into the home page, we want to update this a little bit and finish off the styling. And then we just need to bring it online. And we are super close to doing that. All right, so we will see you in the next one.